It's a murder mystery that's broken a family. That is... That's Tom Evazora. 20 years ago, Danielle Jones was abducted and killed by her uncle. Despite extensive searches, her body has never been found. Stuart Campbell was convicted of the teenager's murder. He's the only person who knows her final resting place. But a new appeal for him to reveal it has come from an unusual source, his brother. It's almost strange to ask the question, but it's effectively the title of your book. How does it feel to have a brother who's a killer? Well, for a long time, I hid from the fact that I had a brother who was a killer. I didn't tell people. I'd become somewhat complacent, just assuming that eventually he would do the right thing and, and declare what he'd done with Daniel Jones's body. The result is this memoir. Inside, haunting photos showing Alex Sharkey next to his brother Stuart on his wedding day, with Danielle as the bridesmaid. I have a daughter of a similar age, and my daughter was the other bridesmaid at Stuart's wedding. I can only imagine what I would feel if my daughter had been abducted and murdered, and, and, then, and then not being able to, to actually have a place to go and visit and, and lay some flowers on a grave, I, I just, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't comprehend the pain. The book is addressed to my brother. It opens and closes with an open letter to him. The letter appeals to him to do the right thing and close this chapter the only way it can be closed, which is by telling the truth and giving the Jones family some kind of closure. When she disappeared, Danielle's mother begged for the return of her daughter. Come home. <laughs> 20 years later, she's still waiting to bury her. And after two decades in prison, her killer will be up for parole and could even be freed. No, 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 no. That should not happen. You should not get to walk away from this and then go and pretend this didn't happen. Because the Jones family, they can't pretend. They can't forget. 